I'm doing right now it's I'm going over to how to install Windows now if you see right here this is the DVD RAM that I have running right now is the first option that I got and here is my here here is where I'm going to install Windows 8 okay so you know what to do so let me go ahead and try to run here um, wait 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 let me go over to this one is a little different but I'll get there I'll get there main Good priorities boot override let's go let's go let's go into Windows But right here it says Windows, I mean language to install, uh, English, time currency, uh, English, and keyboard input, United States, English. Uh, there it goes, install now. Set up its starting, it says right here at the bottom. Let me, okay, right here, right here. Right here I have to enter the key. So let me get the key right here. Okay, well after I type in whatever I type in in here my key my after I type in my product key uh, Let me go ahead and hit next next dum -dum, dum -dum -dum. It's very fine that it's a legit key. It's very fine that I'm not uh, running some dumb shit right here guys if you want to read this right here uh, you can but hey uh, we do not have time for that right now okay upgrade this right here is very very important I'm gonna explain to you why okay upgrade if you're using Windows 7 Windows Vista or you know yeah Windows 7 or Windows Vista or XP and if you buy this disk here and if you are installing it to an old computer that already has an operating system you want to do upgrade okay now that's your choice if you are doing a brand new build like I'm doing right now where um, the SSD is clean you want to do right here custom okay so where do I want to do it drive oh unallocated space right here boom I want to do it right here and as an example let's say you are putting in a use SSD and if you want to format it well mine is already formatted mine is clean mine is new uh, you can hit the refresh if you don't see your drive where do you want to install Windows well right now we are going to install it on this SSD okay we do not need more so let's go ahead and hit make sure it's highlighted let's go ahead and hit next and Windows is going to install to that SSD Okay, after the files got installed and everything, it's installing features and installing updates. And finally, it's finishing up. So we are happy we are doing this right here. That is right now the computer is restarting. Let's see what happens on the big screen. Let me uh, zoom out. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this right here, what are we gonna name this computer? Gaming rig. Okay, we're gonna name it Gaming Rig. I, I, I had no other name for it. 
Uh, what color do we want? Well, we want... Uh, let's say, we want a friendly color. That's too bright, uh, that's too bright. We're going to leave this color here, guy or girl, whoever buys my computer. Express settings. Hmm, what do I want to do? Ah, uh, let's use express settings. Because, let's say, if this is your first time doing it, let's do it this way. Now, if you are a pro and if you want to go on and on and on about this here, whatever, boom. You can do it your way. I, I use express settings. Username. Uh, let's name it GTX 980 because GTX is it's inside of here. Alrighty, finish. Let's hit finish. Finalizing your settings. Hi. Hi hi hi. Right after finishing installing Windows 8.1 into the SSD, it's time for us to go ahead and install the Ethernet driver that will allow us to connect to the Internet. I downloaded the Intel LAN driver that will allow me to get to the Internet. Now that I'm able to get to the Internet, it's time to download Google Chrome. It's one of the best Internet browsers and that I actually trust. Should I trust Google Chrome? Hmm, that's a good topic to talk about in a future video. After installing Google Chrome, it was time for me to go to NVIDIA and download the drivers. So right here I'm selecting my driver, but I remember, hmm, I have to use the GeForce Experience if I want to screen record, so I don't have to use this shitty camera quality. And I apologize for the first seven minutes or eight minutes of unpleasant view. Right now, what we're doing is installing GeForce Experience and the drivers. The next thing to do is go to System um, Management and find Disk Management. And the reason why it's because we need to format the one terabyte hard drive where we are going to install the steam and the games and also where everything is going to be stored like video recordings and everything so right here what am i doing it's i'm setting up the hard drive with a nice format in the letter this right here it's my um my hard drive let me hit it hit it open see it's 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 empty. This is my one terabyte. It, it, it says one terabyte, 1000 gigabytes, but normally it gives you 931. So don't get angry. 931 gigabytes. Uh, we're using 120 uh, gigabyte SSD for the boot up and actually make it really fast. So now that we got this right here, we're going to use this as a dump bucket. It's where you are going to be using GeForce. Okay. So now let me go ahead and let's go ahead how to activate the screen recorder. Let's go to shadow play, the shadow play, hit activate it, activating shadow play. Woo! Uh, the screen is blinking. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we activated it. Now let's go to the shadow play settings over here. Okay. And you know, push and talk, whatever. Shadow play recording. I normally use F10. So let's change for F10. And oh no no no. This is this right here is to save the last minutes where you have that. And let's change for manual recording or on and off F10. So now let's go to the shadow play. This is very important here. And I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. This is what you want to do. What am I doing right here right now since I am a PC gamer and this is a PC a gaming PC I'm changing the save files from the SSD storage and we're moving it to the hard drive that I activated that way we can have our nice operating system nice and fast and we really don't have to mess with this so what I did right now I changed the file locations to the hard drive 
Okay, so after we got that, let's go ahead and hit the allow desktop capture. Boom. So guess what? Let me now, now that we selected that, now we see it right here. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hit F10. And now it's recording my screen. I will shut this camera down. Okay, so now that I got the camera out of the way, we have to do several things, okay? Since now we got that, we we are recording the screen. Let's go online, okay? This is very, very important that you do. Let's go to the ASUS website, asus.com. Boom. Ah, domas, 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 domas. Asus.com. Make sure you put it in right. Okay, let's go ahead and select our. Um, see this right here. I still have to run a lot of updates, but let's do the most important things. Okay, let's go over to products. Uh, products. Uh, let me see desktop. Let's look for ours. Hero. Here it is here it is so now we have our product this is my motherboard now on yours you have to find your motherboard here we go here we are okay make sure you go all the way to support okay uh, let me go ahead and driver and tools uh, okay please select your operating system we are running Windows 8.1 64-bit and let's go ahead and find what we need for bias, let's check the bias. Well, for the bias, we'll do it later, okay? Uh, chipset is very, very important. Um, the chipset for the Intel, okay? This one right here, Intel R chipset software installation B, yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. It, it got released 2014, I mean, July 14, okay? So, you know what? Let's go ahead and install it. So, let's go ahead and drop it okay so now we got that let's close the chipset and let's select audio audio driver you know what don't mess with that don't mess with the audio thing bga what is bga intel graphics accelerator we do not want that because we are using the 980 lan i already got this one here i installed it a bit ago a few minutes ago Utilities, utilities, wrong, game first for Windows, Windows 8.1, 32, and 64, ah, nah, it's not important, SATA, SATA is very, very important, this right here is what connects your SATA and your motherboards, you want to make sure you get the latest version, uh, file size, it got released uh, June 27, 2014, so let's go ahead and uh, download this one here so now we got one two this is very important you need to do it as soon as you build your own computer the manual if you want uh, the manual for uh, the Maximus uh, for your motherboard you can do that okay so let's go ahead and BGA audio chipset bios utilities I already got the, what is it bios USB flashback cross free bios 2 Yes, we need this one here. See, bias, renamer, USB flashback, cross. No, we do not need this here. Uh, for the bias, the versions, Maximus B7 Hero 1104, improved system stability. It got released 8. You know what? Let me go ahead and download it. Okay. And actually, this one here, let me go ahead and do something real quick. Well, actually. I'll, I'll wait, I'll wait. Hotfix, what is this here? Asus product registration program for Windows 7, 8.1. Uh, this is not important right now. A qualified vendor list, rug, security race, comp compatibility, SSD list. Uh, we don't have this here, we don't need that. Uh, let's go ahead and install the Intel chipset. Let's go ahead and ASUS set up. She 
you said okay, let's go ahead. Maybe. Okay. Do do set up chipset. Intel. Do do do. Accept. Install. Yes. Progress. This right here is for the i7 4790K. Alright, this process is boring. You have successfully installed the product Intel chips and in device software. Please finish to end the process. Okay, so now we got this out of the way. Now, let's go ahead and install this one here. Intel. What is this one here? Da -da -da. Rapid storage technology. This here is very important. I accept 10 terms of service. No, I will restart this computer later. Uh, let's get finished. We'll set up. We'll we'll set it up later. Okay, we got it. We got it. Okay, so this pretty much wraps it up, guys. Uh, let's check this out. Let's check one one more thing. This here is very important. You gotta make sure that you got all your updates, all of your stuff. So here we are. Pretty much, I have to. Yeah, check it out. Product ID, change product ID, da, 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 Windows, Windows update. Woo! Look at this here. I gotta run all of these updates but I'm not going to install them all at once that would be really crazy but after that guys you run your updates and you have to run more drivers so after these updates here we got everything ready good to go we got our um, NVIDIA GeForce experience here uh, check it out see what I'm saying it's beautiful this is here shadow play well guys thank you for making it to the end of this video uh, if you wanted to learn how to install Windows 8.1 it's always good to know and if this video helped you please hit the like down below and if it didn't help you it still hit the like down below and Thank you guys for watching my video what you're watching right now is a little bit of a gameplay of the computer i already installed steam and everything and the frames per second are super super crazy but anyway guys i'll talk to you guys later peace out